This is the last 10 podcast with Brenda Lomelli, episode 105. You're killing it in your business and career. You're growing professionally and personally. You're smashing through your goals. But those weight loss goals are a whole different story. This is The Last 10 Podcast, a show to help you lose that last 10 pounds and stay at your ideal weight for good. Balancing all aspects of professional and personal life is tough, but here you're putting yourself at the number one priority. Here's your host, a lady boss and nutritionist who prides herself on working with the unstoppable woman, Brenda Lomelli. Hey, hey, gorgeous. Happy Monday. I hope that you have had a fabulous weekend and I'm excited about the week ahead and welcome back to the podcast. So today what I'm going to talk about is practical hacks for the busy modern woman, which I'm pretty certain if you're listening to this podcast is you. I know for sure that is certainly me. And now I do want to start off with a disclaimer here. I typically, my podcasts are focused on mindset and like really managing your thoughts, processing emotions, et cetera, because here's the thing. Our brain is our main operating system. Every single decision comes from our brain, every single one. And then the other thing that I always talk about is our feelings drive all of our actions. So really, Our thoughts and our feelings are boss of what we end up doing, of the actions we take and the decisions we make. So here's what I want to start off by saying, which is so, so important for you to really be aware of and know for this episode, for for any any of the episodes, but especially for this one. What I'm going to be sharing are just some of my favorites, kind of like simple, practical solutions and hacks. It really is just like a strategy. But... Here's what you need to know though. If you are not managing your brain, if you are not managing, processing, and truly caring for your emotions, no matter what strategy or practical hack that I give you or meal prep tip or any of that or crock pot recipe, no matter what strategy that I teach you, those things like emotional eating and night eating and stress eating and snacking throughout the day will always just continue to keep you stuck. I'll give you a quick example before I jump into sharing some of my favorite, favorite things with you. Because remember, these are all just going to be practical strategies, but you still need to have the right mindset. You still need to have that brain and emotional management. Otherwise, these things still won't work. So I'll give you an example. One of the tips and strategies that I'm going to share with you has to do with a type of meal prep that I personally like. But let me tell you this. There was a time when I was struggling with my weight where I already knew these meal prepping tips and tricks. I already knew them. And here's what would happen. I would do all my meal prep and my refrigerator would be full of these meal prep foods but I would still in the evening eat those four to five bowls of popcorn and I would still on the weekends have the desserts and have the drinks and have the wine. So I still would not see any weight loss results. And the reason that I want to share this example so, so clearly with you is because these strategies that I'm going to share on this podcast, these practical tips, solutions, time-saving hacks, et cetera, they can be helpful but they will only work and give you results if you are utilizing them with already that foundation of managing your thoughts, your mindset, and your emotional management, and you've addressed any sort of stress eating or emotional eating. If those things are still a problem and you don't address it and you don't actually solve it or change it, none of these sort of time-saving solutions or hacks or tips that I'm going to share with you, some of my favorite time-saving tips, et cetera, they won't, just won't work. Let me give you another example. One of the tips or hacks that I'm going to be sharing with you is on meal prepping services. And there is a local meal prepping service here. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, 
There's a local meal prepping service here. It's amazing. I love it. The owner of this meal prep service actually contacted me And she said that one of the major problems that they have is that she has individuals who sign up for her service, who literally pay for every single one of their meals, seven days of the week, three meals of the day, and sometimes even snacks, et cetera. Like money is not an issue and they pay for every single meal to be prepped. And then what happens? And she says, and she contacted me because this was a huge problem. And in fact, um, one of the populations or demographics that she serves are cancer patients who are wanting to eat healthier, make these healthier choices and like eat organic and eat whole foods, et cetera, and cut out the sugars because sugars feed cancer cells, basically. So for these clients of hers, it is a life or death thing. They have a cancer diagnosis and, you know, some of them might want to ha- lose some weight but they have this cancer diagnosis and like making these eating changes is a life, life or death sort of decision and habit change for them. And here's the problem that she's having. These people, they pay for these beautiful organic. I mean, I'm telling you the meals they make are beautiful. It's like all grass fed, organic, like the local, all the meats are grass fed. It's just like these beautiful meals and they're delicious by the way. And what happens is that these people have their refrigerator and they deliver to your house. These people, these individuals have their meals beautifully in their fridge. They are individually packed for them. Just literally all you have to do is like take out that individually packed meal. Sometimes you, you know, you heat them up. Sometimes you don't up to you. I sometimes like to eat them just cold, but they sit there. And then what happens is that these people will sometimes eat part of those meals, some of them, But because if they still don't know how to manage their cravings, for example, they'll still go and order the pizza or they'll still have all those meals, but they'll still be overeating and snacking all day long and eating, you know, things like chips and crackers. The reason I'm sharing this example with you is because the tips and the little hacks and time saving things that I'm going to share with you, they're useful if you're bringing the right mindset to it. If you have developed this ability to manage your thoughts, to manage and process your emotions. So that emotional eating and also of managing your cravings as well and not responding to them. Otherwise you have these practical tips and strategies and you still end up going to the same behaviors, which is what happens and what is so frustrating for so many people. All right. With all that said, without further ado, I'm going to share with you some of my favorites I'm just going to call these like time-saving hacks for the busy modern woman. And the ones that I'm going to share with you, they may, may be some that I am currently using and doing, or they may be some that I have loved also in the past. They're not things that I'm all doing right now. There's some of these I've done in the past and loved, but some are ones that I currently do and utilize. and. Yeah. So I'm going to share these with you. I have six. So for today, I have these six just practical hacks for the busy modern woman and they're time-saving hacks again, but key, key important thing, your mindset, your ability to manage your thoughts, manage your emotions. Otherwise it's not uncommon or unheard of that. Even if you have these hacks on these time-saving strategies and tips, you'll still resort to old sabotaging behaviors and habits that are keeping you stuck. All right. So the first one, number one, is what I like to call mass cooking or mass food production. Now, this is not something that I'm doing currently, but it's something that I did do for a long time that worked for me once I did get my emotional eating, my stress eating, all of that, my sugar cravings in order. Because remember I mentioned earlier, I already knew this whole idea of mass cooking or mass producing food when I was still struggling with my weight, but I would still end up eating all this other stuff and overeating. But once I got that in order, then this actually really was able to be super helpful. So what I call mass cooking or mass food production is 
I would pick one day of the week. And for me, that would be Sunday, but really it can be whatever day works for you. I would do a whole lot of cooking all at once within a few hours. And let me just give you some, if you just heard a little bark, that was my puppy waffle. He's our little (laughs) labradoodle. I typically take him to his doggy daycare while I record, but they were actually closed today. So hopefully he doesn't bark again. Or you may not have even heard it, but yeah, he did bark a couple of times. So if you heard of that, that's waffle. All right. I guess he wanted to chime in on this podcast a little bit too. Maybe he has some tips as well. All right. So mass cooking, mass food production. So I would pick a day of the week, pick whatever day works for you. I loved Sunday mornings before, you know, when I have a lot of energy in the morning time and I would do a whole lot of cooking all at once. And one of my favorite things to do was to use the oven and to use those big baking trays. And I would spread out a bunch of different kinds of veggies on there, or sometimes I would even put some meats on there, roast some chicken, some fish. But I literally, I want you to think about as like mass production. Like I would roast a bunch of veggies. I definitely roasted veggies more than I roasted meat, but I still did do some roasting of meat. Like, for example, one of my favorite recipes for chicken breast is like to put now some of you might think this sounds disgusting, but I'm just giving you some examples here. I would coat the chicken with mustard and garlic salt. Love that. Of course, you have to make sure that the garlic salt you're using doesn't have sugar because, by the way, a lot of seasonings, they do add sugar. So you just want to make sure you look at the listed ingredients of any seasonings that you're using. But Think of it as mass production. And as these things were cooking in the oven and I would put in a sheet or two of of veggies that would be roasting or maybe, you know, some fish that would be cooking or some chicken at the same time on the stovetop, I would be doing something else. Like I might be sauteing some other veggies or doing some other kind of stir fry or some ground turkey sort of stir fry or some ground beef sort of stir fry. So I had to be cooking in the oven and at the same time using the stovetop. And sometimes I would even be also using the crock pot at the same time. Literally think of it as mass cooking, mass food production. Now, once I cooked all this food and I just spent a couple hours prepping and cooking, I would have these large Tupperwares where In one, I want you to imagine like a large Tupperware, one of the bigger ones. In one of them, I would put in all my roasted veggies. And then in another one, I would put like all my roasted chicken, et cetera. And then I would just have those in the fridge. And each day I I almost kind of used it as like a buffet that was in my fridge. I would pull from each of those and make my meals from the food that I had cooked on that Sunday. You know, one of the questions that I get for this is like, well, how do you store it? How long does it last? How long does it stay? Well, you're really just going to have to figure that out for yourself because every refrigerator is different depending on what temperature you have it at, et cetera. Kind of do a little bit of research online as far as food storage and based on what temperature you have your refrigerator at and then go from there. So that is one of the ones that I have for you. That's number one is mass cooking, mass food production. You know, you could also call this a meal prep day, but I I don't think it's so much the emphasis on the meal prep day for me as it was for this idea, as it was this idea of mass food production and just like cooking a bunch of things. And then I have in my refrigerator at my disposal, all this food in the fridge that is just like really great for me. It's aligned with my goals and I just grab it and eat it. So now people, as you're listening, What people might have are objections like, well, I don't have time to have a day where I prep and I'm too busy. That's where the mindset management and the brain management comes in. And instead of feeling, because that's one way of thinking, right? Like I don't have time. Really, it's never about not having enough time. It's about prioritizing. And that's why I, you know, started off this podcast with the disclaimer that these are simply some strategies They are some hacks that I'm sharing with you, but the first thing that needs to be in order and that you need to be really aware of is your mindset and how you're thinking about this and being solution focused is one of those things. Like if you are wanting one of these approaches that I 
like, for example, this mass cooking, mass food production to be an approach that you use, instead of thinking to yourself, my gosh, I don't have time, et cetera, et cetera. You're going to have to get solution focused, which sounds like what day of the week can I make this work for me? Notice that's all mindset. So as I'm sharing any of these and you're like, oh, that won't work for me because of this, that's all mindset. That's something that you need to understand how to change, which is one of the things that I teach my clients and I talk a lot about on the podcast. All right. Hack number two is kind of similar to mass cooking, mass food production, but it's just a little bit more specific. I mentioned the crock pot, but that's what this hack number two is about. Crock pot can be amazing. I remember at the time when this was very popular for me, I was still working at my nine to five as an occupational therapist. And I would literally, you know, put in an entire chicken and just add in maybe like half an onion or a little bit of thyme, like fresh thyme, or just throw in some garlic salt. But I know I've mentioned it twice. I'm a big fan of that garlic flavor. Whatever flavors kind of float your boat, throw it into the crock pot, turn it on. When you come back from work, you have this like beautiful source of protein that's going to be really great, have a lot of flavors. And then along with this one, at the time I, rem- you know, I lived by myself. I was still single at the time and living on my own. What I would do because an entire, I love like whole roasted chickens or whole chicken in the crock pot. It's just so effective and it's delicious. Like a really nice roasted chicken is so yummy and flavorful and just like so good. The other thing that I wanted to add on for you here is that if you're like me and you're like, it's just me. So an entire chicken is a lot. What I would use is a lot of those um, little freezer Ziploc bags. And so whatever I wouldn't eat maybe that day and in the next few days, I would store in these little individual freezer Ziploc bags. And so then I had some yummy, good quality protein in the freezer for future days. And speaking of freezer, I also think that frozen vegetables are another great option. So I'm just going to kind of throw that into hack number two. I mean, is fresh, you know, farmer's market, veggies, fresh cooked, is that better and more nutritious? Yeah. If you compare them side to side, yes. But remember that there's this entire spectrum. And if for you, convenience is going to be something that's important, that's what these kind of hacks are about. So you kind of have to pick and choose. And what you don't want to do, which is what a lot of people do and I used to do is like, oh, it needs to be perfect or else I'm just going to use it as a reason, as an excuse to instead go and grab a burger and fries from the drive-thru, which now Compared to that, yeah, having some frozen veggies <laughs> from the frozen food section is absolutely better. And there's so many great options too. You know, what's really fun is that now, I think because people are starting to demand more healthier options, you can find in the frozen food section, in the frozen vegetable category, you can find riced cauliflower, you can find spiraled zucchini. Like you can find so many fun things that then are so effortless and practical and quick, which you weren't able to find probably a few years back. So I think that in that sense, we are in a really, in a really great time where you can find some really great convenient time-saving options, no matter how busy you are, no no matter how many kids you have, no matter where you volunteer, no matter how busy your career keeps you. There's a lot of great options. All right. And then this is hack number three, sun basket, one of my very favorites. And you might be thinking like, Brenda, what the heck is sun basket? So if you've ever heard of like blue apron, or I think green chef is one of these, it's like, it's one of these meal delivery services and they don't deliver like hot meals, but they deliver these meals that are prepped that you then cook in your kitchen. The reason I specifically like sun basket. And if you're interested now, this is something my husband and I are doing currently, but I've done it before. I've been a huge fan of sun basket for years if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see me tag them and like take pictures. Like their recipes are delicious. They have such great variety. And the reason that I like it is because they have a lot of options. So they have like vegetarian option. They have a paleo option. 
So I typically select the paleo option because that's the one that's the most aligned with how I want to eat that is aligned with the results that I want for myself. Now, that's why I like Sun Basket because some other meal delivery services, even though they still do a very similar service, they still prep those meals. All you have to do is cook them. They portion it out, whether it's for two people or three people. And then you get to decide how many days a week you want to get this dinner, you know, meal delivery service, et cetera. I like Sun Basket because they do have that paleo option. And, you know, what I teach, the way that I teach, for losing the last 10 pounds isn't specifically paleo, but they have so many options and their paleo options that they offer are really quite aligned with what I do teach. Now, each week you, with their service, you have, you can go on their app and it's super simple and you can go through and see what the recipes are for that week. And like, let's say one of the paleo options that week, which is what I, that's kind of like my default preference. Let's say it's not it, there are some things in there that um, I don't want. I might go and look at the vegetarian option, or I might just skip that week if I don't feel like the meals are what I want them to be for me, for my preferences of what I want to eat. But it's so user-friendly. But honestly, for the most part, those options are really, really great. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, very often when I have in my Insta stories, like a dinner that I'm preparing, a lot of those are from Sun Basket and they they use a lot of like cauliflower rice and just really delicious. It, if you're looking for variety and flavor at the same time as still creating the results that you want, this Sun Basket can be a really good option. So if you're curious, I don't think they deliver to every state, but they do deliver to many. Just go to sunbasket.com. By the way, this is not sponsored, but hey, if anyone from Sun Basket is listening, if I were to ever have a sponsor on here, it likely, I mean, I'd be pretty open to Sun Basket because I absolutely adore their, just their product service, the quality of their meals, so enjoyable. Like when my husband and I are sitting there eating, it kind of feels like we're out at like a fancy modern restaurant having a delicious meal, but we're eating at home and it's, you know, and we're comfortable, et cetera. It's really, it's really nice. So this one does involve some cooking on your part as you're making your dinner, but it's prepped in a way where like, I mean, I think on average I spend like 20 minutes and we end up with this delicious meal, which if you think about it, it still would take me about 20 minutes. It would take me about that long to go get in my car and drive somewhere. Even if I would just was picking up some drive through somewhere because 20 minutes really isn't that long. So I do love sun basket. Okay. That's my hack number three, but you can also explore, right? I know there's a bunch of others. I just, when I found Sun Basket, I fell in love and then I am just loyal <laughs> and I love it. And I did explore quite a bit. Like I'm always trying to find the best thing. I felt like they really had the best option, but explore, like look for other meal delivery services like this. And you might find that you like them more, or maybe Sun Basket doesn't deliver to your area, but there might be some other options that work for you as well. All right. Oh, I'm just going to say one more thing about that. The reason this feels like a time saving hack for me is because I'm not needing to think or plan for a meal. I'm not needing to go to the store and buy the stuff and bring it home. Like it's, you know, it comes to me, I cook it up, we eat it. I sometimes have to chop some veggies, but a lot of them are already chopped. It's just really convenient. And if you're wanting, like if variety and flavor is important to you, but you want that without sacrificing convenience, this is a good option that I like. My husband loves it as well. All right. Oh, and, but again, I want to say here too that it's if you haven't managed, for example, your ability, if you haven't learned the skill of managing your cravings, for example, even if you do have this fabulous meal delivery service and this fabulous dinner, after dinner, you might be craving ice cream and eat the ice cream. That's why I'm saying that these will not solve those problems. They just simply are some strategies, some simple time-saving hacks, 
but you have to still develop the skills of managing your cravings, of making decisions on purpose, managing your actions, um, managing emotions so that you're not needing food for stress eating or emotional eating, et cetera. All right. Hack number four, very similar to number three. And I'm going to call this Fran's Kitchen, which I was mentioning earlier, right? This is a local meal delivery service. Now, this one is different because this one literally is actually, I'm going to call this a meal prep service. So just to create some distinction there, meal delivery that I mentioned before, such as Sun Basket, it's not like ready to eat. You do have to cook it and then then it's ready to eat. With the service like Fran's Kitchen, however, like they're literally bringing my meals to me in an individual little container. It is cooked. It is ready. All I have to do is take it out of the refrigerator and eat it. And for these, there are some that are national and I'm not familiar with all the names of them, but you could look it up and find that information online and see, you know, which one of them seems like it'd be good for you. Like I know there's one called like kettlebell. I mean, there's tons of different options online now. I like this one in particular because it was local and because they, they do play place emphasis on the quality ingredients, like quality meats, they're all grass fed, et cetera. Are you going to pay a little bit more? Absolutely. Now this is something that I I was doing this for a while before I started doing sun basket with my husband. And I mean, this one is literally no effort. You are paying a little bit more of a pretty penny, but this is all about, you know, you just have to think about what's important for you. For me at the time, I was like, I rather not spend time cooking and doing other things. Like I just want what's convenient, but also good quality. And Fran's Kitchen was that solution for me. They bring my meals, they, they deliver them because it's actually fresh food that's cooked and ready to eat. They actually deliver twice a week. So let's say Monday, they deliver your meals from Monday through say Wednesday. And then Thursday, they deliver your meals from Thursday to Sunday, et cetera, like that. And yeah, there's not much else for me to say about that. I mean, that is definitely a time-saving thing. Now I can see how as our family grows and like if, cause right now it's myself and my husband, this works for us. I can see how like, you know, five years down the road, let's say we have two, two or three kids running around or whatever, and we're going to feed an entire family. I don't know that this would be the, a practical solution. You know, we would have to order individual meals for like five people and they also might not want, I don't know, there's different things, but the ones that I'm offering for you now These also like, you can just take these as idea inspirations, right? Like there are tons of options out there if what you're wanting is convenience and quick solutions. So this, I mean, it's kind of at the top of the list of the convenient component of it. They bring it to me and I eat it. Like that's pretty much as simple as it gets. So Fran's Kitchen is a local, they are not national, but I'm sure that especially if you live in any major city throughout the U.S. that you can find similar services in your area. So you just kind of hop on Google, like for me to find Fran's Kitchen, I hopped on Google and I was looking for meal delivery services or meal prep services. I remember when I was living in Northern California At that time, I also found another local meal prep service and that one, they ran a little bit different. You would have to go to that person's house and pick up the meals twice a week, but it was still, it still saves me time. All right. So this whole idea that, oh my gosh, I can't eat healthy because I don't know how to cook. Like we just completely debunked that because you can completely just pay someone to prep your food and then all you have to do is eat it. So any sort of limiting belief, basically excuse that your brain throws at you, if you're committed, you really can find an option and a solution that works for you. All right. Practical hack number five, super simple that once I say it, you might even be like, well, duh, Brenda, but I still want to share it, which is oh my gosh, if you really have no time, instead of using that as a reason to not follow through on your plan and go through the drive-through and pick up something that's totally going to sabotage any progress you've made, 
So my hack number five is... Yes, salads at the drive-thru. And I know that that can sound so simple and maybe like overly simple and maybe like too common sense, but I cannot tell you how often I hear this. I'm too busy. And then there's too much going on. Everything's too busy right now. And then women using that as a reason to stop by the drive-thru and grab like an ultimate cheeseburger super size, you know, with curly fries and dip them in ranch. And what that is, is like, okay, even if things are feeling stressful in your life right now, even if there's so much going on and you're super busy, guess what? You can still go through the drive through but just order the grilled chicken salad. So I just want to throw that out there. That's always an option. Again, if you live in any sort of major city and place that has just like your usual fast food spots, it's so easy to just go and grab a quick salad. So not having enough time and there being too much going on and being super busy, that does not need to be a reason that you don't make choices that are aligned with your goals. Because if you do that, you really are just using it as a reason against yourself. Anyone can grab a salad from a drive through <laughs> So that is another one. All right. And then my sixth and last time-saving hack here is another thing that I hear a lot is like breakfast. I don't have time. I'm too in a hurry, et cetera, et cetera. If you are so, so busy in the morning that you really are feeling like you just cannot do like a breakfast, you for sure can get solution focused and find some options that work for you. But another thing too that work for a lot of my clients is you can just do like a quick high quality protein shake in the morning as that first meal. Now, this might be something that works for you as a routine, as a new habit, or it might be just like a quick go-to when you really are like scrambling for time, even though you normally do have your breakfast, et cetera. And it's, I emphasize high quality because there are tons of poor quality protein bars and protein shakes, which I don't recommend. You really need to look at listed ingredients when it comes to this, if you're going to have this be a solution on those mornings when you really need to just grab and go. You need, it's important to look at the ingredients and a lot of these poor quality you know, protein bars, protein shakes have as a listed ingredient sugar or some sort of version of sugars and sweeteners and additives, et cetera. So I'm going to share with you just four of my favorite high quality protein shakes. And this is based on the listed ingredients and like the macronutrient profile, because it will still support your goals. Even if you're like in that super, I am on the go, literally do not have time for anything you know, to cook anything, to make anything, et cetera. Although I'll also will say here that one of the reasons that I loved this, the very first hack that I shared with you, which was mass cooking and mass food production. One of the things I would always make was a veggie egg scramble. So as things were roasting in the oven, one of the things I had on the stovetop was in a really large skillet, I would be making this a really large veggie scramble. And then I basically always had breakfast ready for every morning. So that can be another option, but this is just, I just want to present this as an option when you really like you are just on the go, you literally have two seconds is a high quality protein shake. And then the next question that I often get is like, what do you mix it with? Just water. So there are four brands that I really like. One is called Bone Broth Protein, and you can go to bone, bonebrothprotein.com. You can check out the listed ingredients on that one, and that's a good high-quality option. I also like Paleo Pro, and you can go to paleopro.com for that one to see what it is. And they're not only available at the websites, but I'm just giving you the main website so you can look at it, see what it looks like. But they're available, you know, on Amazon and other places. and and in some of the whole food stores. Bone Broth Pro is made by Ancient Nutrition. So I think you can also go to ancientnutrition.com. All right, those are two. And then the other two actually for any of my vegan vegetarian friends, but also my non 
vegan, non-vegetarian friends. I like Garden of Eden. That's also a really good one. And I like these two again, because what I'm looking for, sorry, it's not called Garden of Eden. It's called Garden of Life. And it's their raw organic protein. Again, I like it because it's a plant formula. It is plant-based, so it is whole food based. And and the macronutrient profile. And then I also like Sun Warrior Protein. That one's also a plant-based protein. And I'm just looking for quality ingredients. So this also could be a quick option for those mornings where you are on the go and just need to grab and go. But remember that that's not the only option if you need to grab and go in the morning. You could also do a little bit of that mass breakfast production. And I just gave you one idea, but there's many others. I know that some of my clients really like to make, they call them egg bites. And in fact, Starbucks sells egg white bites. I believe that's what they call them. But you can also make these little egg muffins, egg scramble muffins in advance and have a bunch of those in your freezer that you just quickly microwave or have them in your refrigerator. The key with all of this is that you are getting solution focused. The way that I came up with all these different practical things, time-saving things that work for me as a modern busy woman that runs her own business, has her household, et cetera, et cetera, and does plenty of other things as well, is that I got solution focused. Okay, this, maintaining this result for myself or getting the result for myself is important for me. It's a priority for me. Instead of using this reason that I'm busy, that there's too much going on as something against myself to sabotage my results, I'm simply going to get solution focused. And I'm going to figure out what are the ways that I can make this work for me as a busy modern day woman. And so I'm just today on today's podcast, I just shared with you six of my kind of go-to favorites. Oh my gosh, I just thought of one more. And this, you know, is may seem a little unrelated to food, but another like modern day woman hack that I that I do love, honestly, is that we have someone come and clean the house once a week. And so because I work from home and here's the thing too, like someone might think like, oh my gosh, you work from home. Why don't you just work your, you know, clean your house? (laughs) And we do clean. Actually, my husband and I are both really, I would say we're both pretty clean and organized, but there's a difference between, you know, being organized and things being in their place and then like actually deep cleaning. And so having her come and clean actually just allows me to be in my home, like do my work. So the reason that I want to offer that to you, that's another way. Like if you can look at what you have going on in your life, in your routine, for me, that was one of the ways that I thought, okay, how else can I kind of save time in my day so that I have time for the things that are more of a priority for me? The, and other things that I don't want to necessarily myself spend time on, but that still are a priority and I still want them to get done. I still want the house clean. How else can I sort of outsource this? So you know what? I'm going to give you a bonus number seven time-saving hack on this podcast or practical hack, and that's going to be outsourcing. And in fact, a lot of these things are just versions of outsourcing. In your life, are there things that you currently do that are kind of making you feel stressed out, et cetera, et cetera, that you could outsource so that it enables you to do other things that are more of a priority for you and you kind of have that support? We could even call this one outsourcing or delegating. Is there maybe your husband or one of your kids or maybe delegating something at work? So Outsourcing and delegating are absolutely also some hacks that you can use so that you are prioritizing and getting the things done that you want to get done that are important for you, et cetera. It really, it's all about thinking outside of the box, getting solution focused. And so these are some of my favorite things that really allow me to create the kind of results that I love to create for myself, for my physique, et cetera, maintaining my weight but still do all the other things that are important for me, running a profitable, successful business, you know, being a host of the podcast and so much more for yourself as a mom, whatever career or profession that you are involved in, or maybe volunteer, or you're part of this group or that group and meeting friends and then having family barbecues, all these things and responsibilities 
don't use them against yourself so that you don't also create the results that you want for your own personal goals. All right, my friends, I hope that that has been useful. If you are still feeling like you need support to apply and implement and actually get the results that you want for yourself, make sure that you go to brendalomelli.com and schedule your strategy session. Go to the work with me page. Let's set up a time to talk and let's talk about whether my program is the perfect match for you so that we can really get you the support you need so that you can create the results that you want in your life. Very much on purpose. Have an amazing week. See you all here next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. And wait, before you go, did you know that you can find more help from me on my website? I have created a free training just for you where I teach you in depth the four traps, the only four traps that keep women stuck. And then my four simple secrets in order to overcome that. All you need to do is go to brendalomelly.com forward slash free training. And hey, if you're ready to finally get to your goal weight and stop struggling, stop sabotaging and really create the results that you've been wanting, I want to invite you to join my last 10 pounds weight loss coaching program. In this program, I really teach you and I take you by the hand in implementing my proven strategies into your own life. If you're ready for some next level support in this part of your life and finally creating the results that you've been wanting, head over to brendalomelly.com forward slash apply so that you can apply for my program and we can get you going. It's time to stop dreaming about these results and just start creating them. See you over at brendalomelly.com.